What makes brewer's yeast different from baker's yeast or nutritional yeast is that when it's propagated, it's going to be propagated in a medium that's going to be similar to what it's going to see in its actual environment. So in this case, brewer's yeast will be propagated essentially in beer or something that very closely approximates beer. Propagation requires four things in order to occur. Moisture, heat, food, in our case sugar, and also time. It usually takes hours to a few days for a full propagation cycle to be complete. One of the more common propagation techniques used by brewers is called the one-step, ten-fold propagation, which is a long term that just means it's a single step where the yeast cells are multiplying ten times in each step. Yeast will be propagated as many times as it takes to get the proper pitch rate or total number of cells into your beer to ferment properly. Once the yeast has been propagated to a proper cell count, we now have a liquid culture, but sometimes yeast manufacturers will take one extra step, which is dehydration. Dehydration turns the liquid yeast into a dry yeast product, which is what you see here.